this session, I'm going to go over some of the formulas and functions in Excel and particularly focus on the if statement. As we are working here on this spreadsheet and getting an understanding of different functionality of Excel and things of that nature, if we go here under formulas, notice there is a whole bunch of different sets of formulas or categories of formulas. So the auto sum, some of this stuff that we covered earlier, recently used financial ones, logical ones, if and so on, text ones, date and time, lookup and math and so on. So if you want to look at all of them, notice there's a whole bunch that we had discussed a little bit earlier as well. It's probably about 400 or more that we'll not be able to cover in this tutorial. If you needed to learn about something, so I want to learn about the if statement, notice the if statement can be used to check whether a condition is met and if it is met, then it returns one value, so if it's true, and if it's not, then it returns something else. Those values can be text, like a word, or it could be a specific value, like for a bonus, apply a bonus, or not apply a bonus, or a deduction. Or... So, again, what you need to do is to learn more about these is that you, you find whatever the function that you're looking for, you click on help on this function and then look at some of the examples from Microsoft help system here. So let me press cancel here and now we have this example here. So we have a bunch of employees. They are salespeople that in some of the stores that kind of are somewhat frustrating. You go to the store and they bug you for buying something and you just want to check things out on your own. But in any case, so you have these salespeople and you're saying that if your sales reach $20,000 or more, then you're going to get a bonus of $500. If they don't reach 20000 or more, then you don't get anything. So now you can apply this if statement formula in these cells. So we want to determine here whether this is true or false, whether John Smith has made more than 20,000 in sales. So we can determine that, of course, by looking at it, we can say, yes, that's true. However, we want to uh, have the computer tell us because it could be another type of value. It could be a lot of references and all that type of stuff. So in this case, we're going to use the uh, if statement to determine this. So one of the ways that are the easiest way to use this at this point is to go here under the formulas tab and then either locate it under the list of functions that we displayed a moment ago or you can go here under logical functions and click on the if statement. So you click on the logical test here. So you're saying the test is so if the sales in this case it will be B6 actually you can click on the value B6, just click on it. If B6 is greater than or equal to, you could either put a value there like 20,000, but you don't want to put it as part of formula like we had determined before. Greater than or equal to, this is our hurdle, this is what the criteria is 20,000, which would be B12. Then, if that is true, we want the computer to tell us it's true just the word true. If it's not, then we say write false. Now, one thing as well to keep in mind, notice that we are referencing a specific cell and we'll probably use autofill here. So it is suggested that you make this B12 an absolute reference by putting the dollar signs in there. So we click OK. Notice the computer told us, yes, it is true. He will get a bonus. And let me do this again manually. You go under if statement and you say logical test. You go to the value that you want to compare. So this is what Michael did. If his amount is greater or equal to the hurdle which is or the criteria which is B12 in this case, so I put an F4 to make it absolute reference, then I say again it's true. Or you can put whatever you want. And then otherwise give me that it's false. So now I click OK. Notice that's less than 20,000. And I can replicate this, otherwise I'll be here all day. Notice only certain ones get through here. 
if the criteria here it's less, let's say it's 18,000, now notice only one of them will not get a bonus. Now the next one that we want to do here is, do they get a bonus, yes or no? By the way, you don't have to do all these three criteria. Usually you just put it right here under the bonus amount and you're done. But I just want to demonstrate how this is kind of done. So we go here under formulas again, under logical, you go under if statement, and then we click on the amount greater than, equal, and then the criteria, make that absolute, then we say yes, otherwise it's no. Click OK. So the first one gets a bonus, the other ones will find out, and there it is. Now we want to do the actual calculation. So the actual calculation, we can click on F here again, pick the uh, what we want to compare, greater, equal, whatever the criteria, make it absolute, and then if it's true, then give them an additional $500. So you give them whatever the value is here. So you want to give them 500. Again, we are referencing a single point for all of these customers or all of these employees, so make that an absolute value. Again, otherwise, give them zero. So then we click OK, we scroll down, and there it is. You could use this criteria in a variety of different ways. You could use it if somebody participates in an event, yes or no, based on what. If somebody donated enough money for a specific cause, you could have a criteria, an if statement, and then you can send them something. You could generate something like for a mail merge and things of that nature by using the if statement. So it's very powerful. Uh, play with it. I'll post the spreadsheet with the video as well. Thank you.